Zebra Herd, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Today, I wanted to delve back into the depths to, of course, explore more stuff down there. We still have a lot more of this map to clear out, and on top of that, a lot of X marks of spots to discover. So, I feel like that's probably the greatest thing we can focus on at the moment. We'll get some new gear out of this. If we can complete some gear sets, I would be really happy with that. And on top of that, while we're actually here at Lookout Landing, if we talk to you over here, this guy, he should give us maybe more brethren locations. 100 pose we gotta give you. If you do, I'll tell you the location of my brethren. Tell me all about it. We have enough for one brethren location update. So this one, uh, oh, right there. Okay, so we actually have been in that area before, but I did not see that brethren. So I guess we will just go over there. Right here seems to be what we're trying to get to. I'll mark a green marker over there and let's see if we can't find it. And then we'll try to find some of the different areas that have the X marks the spots on them. Okay, we've made it back down to the depths. This area, is this where we found, yeah, the construct factory. So yeah, I definitely wouldn't have explored this segment of the depths too much. So it makes sense that I missed this, but ooh, my health is pretty low. I should have taken the opportunity to sleep in the bed back at Lookout Landing, but I totally forgot. I might still do that, but for right now, obviously we're a little too far off for that idea. So I would like to just uh, go up here if possible. Just like that and just try to find out where this guy is. Should be way up there, I guess. It's a little bit out of the way, but we could get to it. We don't have enough pose to actually get something from them, but I'm pretty sure how this works, right, is that they will have new gear popping up as long as we meet more of them. I might be wrong, but here's hoping that's the case. Uh, here we go, I'm gonna send through this one so I don't have to climb. Anything to not have to climb. Perfect. Um. And the wellspring of courage. Whoa! Look at this place. This is cool. And where are you at? Um, maybe higher up. Looks like higher up. We'll check out the wellspring first, then. Just like this. I don't know if there's really anywhere we can ascend too much here. This might be where it's good to change my gear then to the climbing gear, because I have just a feeling we're just gonna be climbing up for a little bit. I think that if we do have extra time by the end of today, I might wanna swing by some of the fairies and upgrade our gear that way because there is a lot of armor I wanna upgrade sooner or later. We're sort of on it right now, it seems like. Okay. No, 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 that's not what I wanted, Link. Just trying to find a place to rest in the little crevices of everything. There we go, much better. And here you are. Okay, so, finally got the chance to talk to you. You who stand before me, make an offering. Offer bows to me, spirits that ought to return to the afterlife. They are pitiful beings who have lost their way home and wander this land. I'm the one who returns all bows to the afterlife without prejudice. Okay, we've read about this whole concept before. They all say the same thing. My brethren and I have combined our power to create the Hood of the Depths. If you desire it, you must make a suitable offering. That's really exciting. So the Hood of the Depths is right down this way. Um, I've got a lot of this other stuff. For this, I'll need 300 Po, so I can't quite afford it just yet. But you can tell that's why it's, you know, really worthwhile to find some of this stuff. I wonder, I don't know exactly how this works. You know how we can find treasure with the X marks a spot? It eventually shows back up here, so we could buy more of it. Oh, even the evil spirit armor. Whoa. Okay, so anything that we find in the depths pops up here, right? Does that mean the stuff I'm buying from them are coming from chests too? Could I just find the stuff without having to offer a Poe? Um, I have no clue. But if I could get that hood, I'd be really happy about it. So let's go into this little river area over here. Very curious about this because, yeah. Is there anything up here? Doesn't seem like it. The water just sort of starts here, but there's a ton of Poe to get if I don't drown. And I can definitely make use of the Poe. So grab some of this. Ooh, that already jumps us up to what? 36 of it? Pretty good. There's a lot of areas where we can definitely get a lot more Poe. And if we explore the depths and find a lot of light roots today, I think that would help us too. But that's most of this area cleared out. We probably want to explore more of it soon enough to try to find extra stuff. But I figured if I really wanted to... Uh make progress with finding X marks the spots, I'd wanna go over here. Now we gotta keep in mind that the water would separate these two areas. So if we wanna get to this one, what we'd have to do actually is find the depths 
over here. So if we can jump down here at the um, Kakarika Village one, maybe then we can explore, because I've never jumped down that one and actually explored the depths. So let's work on that now. I'm going to try to get over to the uh, entrance of it from here, and we will just explore the depths from there a little bit. Okay, we're in Kakarika Village. I might get into some trouble here with the bees, but uh, they shouldn't be able to catch up with me or I'm going. All right, here we go. So we're going down the East Hill Chasm. We've been down here before just like to get the activated like finding of it, but I've not gotten any of the light roots down here. So, whoa, whoa, okay. That giant, oh, I don't like the look of this. Is that it? What is that? Oh no, that's a statue. That scared me. That was a spooky looking statue. Um, all right, pick up some of this Poe. I don't see anything over there just yet, but those arenas. Hi, Choo Choo. Uh, I, do I need this for, I need this for a quest. So I'll, I'll keep this picture. Cause I need that for some kind of quest. Um, uh, yep, yeah, my friends will deal with it. Thank you, you know, Bo. Um, uh, there was the arena there. There's gonna be some kind of fight, for sure. Okay, before we get to carried away, I can't see a darn thing. That helps. Okay. Trying to get over to that light route then as much as we possibly can, but there might be an arena in our way. I forgot to go rest again, so I don't have much health. If there is gonna be a fight that breaks out here, I'm very nervous. We do need to bust this open one way or another. This is really the only weapon I have. It's gonna bust things for the time being, but that does get me some extra of those. Which I really need. Oh my goodness, what is that? Uh, Marbled Goma. Whoa, I already have a picture of you? All right, I, I don't remember when I did that, but I guess I did. Uh, I have no memory of doing that. Uh, let's go ahead and I guess just fight you. Whoa, this is terrifying. Um, you are so scary. Yeah. Throw another little bit of light down. Oh man. Uh. Hello? Oh no, oh no, oh no, it spotted me. I'm so scared, I'm saving the game. I'm saving the game just in case. <laughs> okay, uh, what should I eat here? Um, that will be better later, the gloom stuff. Uh. Right now, if I could just refill my health somehow, uh, I'm just trying to figure out the best way to do that. I need to make more food. I really, really need to make more food. We'll just do this one for the attack up for the time being. I'll make sure that I have as strong of a weapon as I can manage at the moment. I could do the royal bow. I think I might just do the snow knight bow that. I have to hit you in the eye, don't I? Is that, oh, there it is. Oh, they haven't noticed me yet. Did that hurt you? It might be farther off than I thought it would be. Oh man. Ah, oh, there it goes, there it goes, scary. Come on, come on. Are you serious? No, you don't. I know what I do here. Gonna give you a little taste of your own medicine. Excuse me? Okay, great. Gotcha. Okay, uh, no, what? Send this back, send this back at you. There we go, and if I can get over there, I might just want to ascend on you. Right here, right here. Come on, go Link, go! This is our chance. We need to do a couple of things though. I need to change my gear, like pronto, because he's gonna kick my butt with the slow armor gear. Uh, so, that helps out a little bit. What's my best sword right now? I mean, I have this 42. Ooh, the Flux Core 3 Smasher. Here, ooh, this hurts me too. But luckily, I don't have those hearts anyways. We can just really, really do a number to you. You didn't like that, huh? Ah, so scary. Oh no, oh no, time for round two. Okay, okay, gotcha. I'm just gonna keep hitting you like that for a little bit and then run, run, run over. And I hope I have the chance here, I think I do, uh, just to get up here like this and just keep hitting you. That's my one and only goal at the moment. Of course, this is gonna hurt me a little bit too, but luckily, I should be fine. There we go. Just a few more hits. Let's do something a bit safer. Come on. There we go. That was terrifying. Oh man. Huge explosion and everything. Wow.
Whoa, whoa, what is this? Whoa, can I combine this with stuff? This isn't like a thing to photograph, but I could definitely fuse this with something. Without a doubt, what should I fuse it with? <laughs> I get that question forever. Maybe I should just start fusing, the, even if I don't use it right now. Whoa, plus 30 damage is huge. I'm happy with that for sure. That was crazy. And we're right by that light route. I see a couple more in the distance and also a Giga Clan thing. So there's a lot to do around here, but let's first off open this up and see what our prize is inside. A huge crystallized charge. I need to get some more battery stuff soon for sure. But the first thing on my to-do list is just gonna be running over here so that we can yeah. do that. So I don't plan on using the uh, marbled Goma hammer right now, but soon enough. I wanna save all those for the big final Ganon fight if possible. If not, you know, like, I know that, is there a way to make a house in this game too? Cause I feel like that would have been at Kakarika Village. This was probably at um, Boston, Bolson's place, right? We gotta make a house soon. And I think you can hang stuff up on the wall. I feel like any of the stuff that I can make with a diamond, I should be hanging up on a wall. Okay, get over here. I know we're losing a lot of health to the gloom, but if I could just get over here really fast, activate this light route, I feel like that'd be a pretty big deal. And then get over to that Yiga stuff. All right, the Takaruk light route. Do we have, oh, we don't have a shrine above. Okay. I should make that a marker then, because there's definitely a shrine there. Good to know. All right, so let's go ahead and get that marked right there. We can skip this, but this'll make it, of course, a lot more visible in this part of the map. Oh boy. So the light route dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. A lot to do here, but before we get too caught up in it, I think I will go back to um, Lookout Landing just to go to a bed and heal up. Then I'll come back over here and uh, just fight the, the Yiga Clan members. I feel like that's a good idea. Okay, I took a nap, refilled some health, but also a blood moon just happened, which means more monsters than ever coming back. So let's make sure that we can actually cook some things up here. Let's go by type. There we go, <laughs> went over it twice. I wanna definitely just make some food that's gonna give me some full restore capabilities. I think that'd be pretty good. So a hearty tomato mushroom stew seems pretty darn nice. Maybe I'll do two of those this time. Maybe something like this to get some extra damage in. Oh, that doesn't really work, but whoa, that actually really canceled out. That didn't even give me any bonus hearts. Let's try the big hearty truffle and like four tomatoes. That'll be four recovery plus four golden hearts. Always good to see that stuff. And then maybe one more like this. There we go. Ooh, plus five hearts that time with the full recovery. Always great to see. So these are a pretty simple meal, but obviously full recovery plus hearts is always a good thing to have. So glad to have that. I want some moves that'll really pump up my damage, even if it is just like all banana and a fruit. There we go, mighty simmered fruit attack up for three and a half minutes. And what are some other stuff, other things I can maybe do around here? Maybe with the hearty truffle? That sounds interesting. Not the hearty truffle, but the hearty radish. Uh, that was fine. <laughs> I thought like that could have been better. Um, extra stamina. If I did that and this with the raw prime meat, the energizing steam meat, I do just need to get some more stamina kind of thing, so. I'll do that again. I know these are all very simple recipes, but if it gets to job done, I'm pretty happy with it. What if I just did two stand bulbs? Energizing cook stand bulb, yeah, okay. I'll do that, and then a raw bird thigh. Cool. And then what about uh, coarser bee honey? Stamina recovery effect. So if I did two of these and two of these, that'd just be ultra stamina recovering. I guess, it, ooh, this is new. Energizing glazed veggies. Instantly refills some of your stamina wheel. Don't t like the taste of vegetables? Simply saute them in honey for a salty sweet flavor. Awesome. I don't know if there's really too many other recipes I'm looking for here. Um, yeah, I feel like maybe getting all the recipes would be fun at some point. I don't remember how to find the recipes. There's a button I could press for it, but I don't remember what it is. Okay, that's fine. We will just uh, chill out there for a bit with the food. And obviously, since I'm here, I can also upgrade some of this stuff. I think I just want more stamina. Let's see, stamina vessel, yes. 
and if we could complete this wheel, I think we need two more upgrades to complete the wheel. That make me pretty happy. Let's see. That's one done. Stamina vessel. Okay, yeah, I think one more will get us our third wheel fully completed. That'd be so useful for getting around. So I'm just gonna do that again. I think it'll do a shorter cutscene now because of that. Yep, awesome. So we're all caught up. We're a little bit more powerful and capable of handling things. So I would love to go. Wait, that was it? Was that the rest I could do for the stamina? I think that's what they were saying. I think that's our max stamina. That's really exciting. But anyways, I wanna go back to the depths and uh, continue exploring. This is where we just were, right? So I want to just go right back down there and continue to look around because there's definitely some other things to get to. We're trying to get to this one? No, 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 I was trying to get to this one. Okay, uh, slowly but surely, we'll get there. One step at a time. Oh yeah, and the Yiga Clan stuff. Don't forget about that. All right, so we're back. I think I need to climb up this way. I want to be able to yell who's back over there too. We got the big guy, so scary. But I fought them once. We could fight them again at some point too. This is the thing I just want to make sure it gets done before I forget, because I feel like these are pretty easy to miss. And they seem to have important stuff, either be extra lore. Okay. Uh, I was trying to pick it up, and <laughs> you know, Bo, butt it in. Uh, like I was saying, they love extra lore. Okay, like, pick it up. Don't explode it in my face, please. Um, but also sometimes they have a gear or just something cool to get. So definitely worth it when we have the opportunity and that opportunity is right now. So maybe afterwards I can get to that light route, but that is definitely in the opposite direction of the X marks the spot I wanted to get to. But I guess progress is progress no matter what. We need to get to that stuff eventually anyways. This might be where I want to switch back over to climbing gear. Because we're not fighting a big scary monster right now, but instead climbing. What do you know? Ooh, okay. Little shortcut. If I hop onto here, give it a smack. Up we go. Whoa, that definitely makes things a little bit easier. And we've learned that these things aren't as complicated as they seem. That if we knock you out, actually, that should be it. There you go. <laughs> All right, operation successful. We can go in there. I think there might be another room somewhere too, but we really did make that easy, didn't we? <laughs> Let's see what's going on here. We get two chests. This one has the large crystallized charge with 20 of them. And, boom. Yiga schematic, a scroll schematic for a contraption made of Zonine devices and building materials. Looks like you can use it, use auto build to store schematics and then build from them. That's awesome. So there we go. Always good to have more of these. That's a very funny looking one. I don't really know what that would accomplish. I guess it's sending us way up in the air. Uh, but yeah, that was what I was looking for is more schematics. Forgot. Okay, let's see what this says. There are walls that stretch from floor to vaulted ceiling in the depths. As a general rule, it's impossible to pass them. In multiple incidents, climbers have fallen while trying to vain, in vain to scale the monster's barriers. It's better to hunt for a detour. When encountering a wall in the depths, you must first try to calmly determine whether it stretches up to the ceiling. Fortunately, objects that look like icicles made of rock often dangle near such walls. There are many secret paths through some walls, but those are likely very rare. A good map might pinpoint such paths. Glory to Master Koga. Another good way to see is if there's water on the surface, that usually means that there is a full scaling wall underneath. Okay, so one thing I'm trying to do is just get up here now, if I can. Okay, it looks like they've stopped following me for now. They've gotten bored. I wanted to try to get up here, but I just don't know if the game is gonna give me a spot to actually do that conveniently. Uh, oh, right there. Come on, come on. I just wanna get up on this roof, but the way it's lipped is a little difficult. Can I just climb on this? No, of course not. Uh, I should be able to get up right here. There we go. Cause I saw some more Poe up there and I wanna grab it because I, really? There's nowhere I can just, here. I just wanted to get the Poe, but maybe I'm being silly here. There we go, it's right up there. Staring at me this whole time. If I could, can you leave me alone? They're all trying to beat me up right now, and I don't appreciate it. I just want to grab 
this right here. That gets me just, it was only five of them. I don't know if it was worth all this effort just to get five of them, but there we go. Uh, I think I wanted to get down that way, right? So one thing I might just wanna do, just so that I can make sure I'm going the right direction is I'll set a marker over there and we'll fly off. So, glad that we got this one completed. I do see something of interest floating around over there. Obviously, if we could make our way towards other light routes in the meantime, that could be good, but also can be a little messy sometimes. I'm sure that that light route would clear out a lot though. So it is very tempting to get to that. I might, you know, obviously I wanna find a lot of gear here, but there's plenty of other stuff I need to find too. So, there's also monster encampments down this way, but a lot of those don't have like a map marker or anything specific. Usually when they do, you can tell because it's just like visually interesting. Okay, get over here. I should have let my stamina restore. What's going on down here? Let's light this thing up and really find out. Whoa, okay. Looks like another one of these. We should be able to handle that. Here we go, here we go, ready? He's like, what? <laughs> Who shot that? It's me. Here I come. Okay, I'm gonna land right on top of you. It's a flux construct too. Never mind, I'm not landing on top of you. I definitely have a picture of you, right? Yep. All right. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh. Okay. And got it. So you should be fairly easy to beat up compared to our normal opponents here. I get over here. Just because he won't have too much health. That thing is broken, which honestly might be for the better. I have this silver moblin hammer. And then, oh, where do you think you're going? Way up there. We've seen this a million times. That's too high to ascend up, at least not straight away. I think. Yeah, no way. So, I think my best bet for actually getting up there, of course, is to do that. Hold on tight. Ooh. All right, here we come. And then back down. So, um, let me attack with this again. Ah, oh, I think my weapon broke again, or maybe I, I broke in. Something like that. Where did it go? Uh, oh, it's over there. Pretty far off. Oh no, that might mean all the stuff drops in the gloom, but hey, at least we beat you. Yeah, that's exactly what's gonna happen. Okay, gotta be fast with it. Ouch. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. There we go, awesome. So, I would like to keep this thing with me because I don't know if there's gonna be a treasure chest nearby that maybe will give me a weapon to combine it with. Usually these little arenas have some kind of chest somewhere, so. Let's see if I can't find one. Uh, let's really charge this one up. That's what I love about this bow, though. Okay, that went too far. I don't know. I'll leave it there for now. It doesn't seem like there's a treasure chest for this one. Maybe it's only for the specific kind of boss kind of characters. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. So, wow, that's a lot of Poe. I definitely wanna grab all this stuff then. Look at this, it's like a sea of it. And Soldier's Claymore, I already have it, but I mean, at least pictured. Yeah. Let's do that and pick up all this stuff. I'm trying to get back up to 100 of it, at least so we can find out another location of these brethren. That is so much. This will definitely get us to 100. Sometimes it's not about finding the really big ones, but the cluster of all the small ones to get you to where you're going. Okay, a little bomb flower here too. Don't mind if I do. Got some more over here. We're over 100 now. I needed 300 for that tunic or whatever, or no, it's the hood that goes with the tunic we already have. So that might be worth focusing on if we don't find anything else today. But I will grab some of that. Got it all, 118 in total. Where was the... There was a light route around here, but I've sort of lost my way. Okay, let's do that because the yellow makes it harder to see somehow. Uh, let me just get up higher. So I'm definitely a bit turned around on where the light route went. I think it was in this direction. It's so hard to tell. Oh, is that it? That's gotta be it. Okay, so if we keep heading over there, I guess it's something. I didn't mean to. Sorry, buddy. Not what I'm in the mood to do. Okay, getting a little bit closer. 
I definitely need to get some more large zonite because that could help me make more uh, traversal equipment for when I'm in the sky. Obviously, I haven't found a ton of it yet, but we have plenty of time today. Maybe discover some more. We are discovering some more enemies out. Oh, don't play the horn. Uh, Will they notice me? They must be sneaky. And also change my gear <laughs> once again. Uh, gotcha. One more time. Gotcha. Luckily, not super high. Oh, hey. I was gonna say not super high uh, powered enemies, but this is a silver one. So let me definitely damage you up a little bit. Whoa, you're getting knocked all around. Okay, keep going, keep going. Uh, don't you dare. Gotcha. Keep swinging. A little bit more, maybe. Come on. It's really dark around here, so it's hard to really know if I'm about to run off a cliff or something, but. There we go. I think I have enough inventory space to even pick up that halberd, which is really nice. Pick up all this stuff too. It's making the noise as if there's more enemies because there is. We got a blue Pokemon over here. Gotcha. Okay, I will grab all that, but let's work on this then. Um, I might turn this into a hammer weapon just because I really do need something that'll bust this stuff open a little bit more easily. Hmm. Are there any rocks around? I would hope so, but I'm not really seeing much so far. Not the best scenario. Let me grab this really fast, the muddle bud. I'm not seeing any rocks around at all. Are we getting any closer to the light route, by the way? I feel like I've gotten turned around once more. Really hard to tell, actually, but I think it's over here. Uh, oh, it's right there. I could just barely see it. I need to break this stuff open one way or another. I guess for now, I will use this. I don't know if I should because, I mean, I could also just pick this up. You know what? That'll be my strategy for now. I will drop this, pick this up because it has a rock on it, and then just use this and then get rid of it because I don't need it exactly. Okay, this one's a little trickier to get. This one's golden and sparkly, so it usually means it has some of the big stuff in there. It didn't. <laughs> I mean, I guess, are they all golden and sparkly like that? I feel like some of them don't have the golden accents, but maybe I'm wrong. Okay, that was all that was there. I guess I'll take this back. I don't know. You know, yeah. If I need to, I can find another one of those pretty easily, I would, I would expect. That's where we were before. Don't get turned around again. I need to get back over this way, continue towards wherever this light route is. Maybe. No, I guess it was this way. But, have I been going the wrong way? I'm so confused. Did, what? Is this the one I'm just seeing from over here? It's definitely not that one. So maybe I just passed another light route. I'm so confused on what's going on here. I just need to keep climbing up here. We'll figure out something. So I've gone pretty high up and I'm really getting turned around on what exactly I saw where. I mean, there's definitely, a light route somewhere. But clearly, I'm having a hard time finding it. So, I'm gonna give it a few more moments. If I don't see anything, I think we should just really get back on track. I was trying to go over here this whole time, and I just haven't gotten much progress, because like this is about to lead me here. So you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna go back to maybe even just jumping down from this one. I would if it wasn't for the fact that I have to jump over. It should be fine. I'm gonna go to this one and then go south to try to find the X marks the spot. All right, so. Let's see how things are going down here in the East Hill Chasm again, but instead it'll be going the other direction. I need to follow that blue marker. So that's the main thing I'm focused on here as we fall down to the depths. Obviously if we see any kind of light route, that's great, but this is just pure darkness in this direction. Why? Do I have to fall down farther? Oh, I have to fall down farther, I think. I was really confused there for a sec, I think. I don't know, there shouldn't be a wall here. Like there should not be a wall here. There's some water blocking us, I guess. Uh, I guess there might be a little bit of water blocking us here. Let's just try to go around it if I can. Man, this is dark, dark. And you never know when you're just like right next to a wall or not, but it looks like, okay, I've gone around it. This like little river was giving me a hard time. What is that? What is that? 
Uh, Tool, you want to help me out here for a moment? What is? That's just like a tower of some sort. I haven't been over there. Well, let's go ahead and grab this since it's like right here. Okay, I'm so confused. This must be. It's another Yiga Clan hideout, that's for sure. But I think this might be another place where we fight Master Koga, a Ben Kakariko mine. Which I want to continue with eventually, but figured I'd save it for later. Uh, I didn't want to fall there. I wanted all that uh, stuff. Well, can I get up there? Really? Right here. Whoa, up we go. I went through one. Keep going. Here we go. Crazy. All right, well, yeah, if we can activate some of this stuff, that'd be great too. Um, but once again, I'm just sort of looking for, I guess, here? I wish those would show up on the map. I really wish they would, but they don't. Uh, that'd be in that direction. Oh no, they do show up on the map. Huh. That's not what I, I wanted to throw. I'm so confused because like I don't see it at all. It's like so, so dark. Usually you will at least see it, but maybe it's just that far up. So I just want to find this light route. The more we can find of these, the better off we are. I can climb up this little mountainside. I'll try to grab some of the Poe. I don't know if I can. Uh, Link, please. Okay, come on. Okay, well, this isn't what I wanted at all. This game can be so silly sometimes. I just want to climb up the cliff, please. Uh, I, I, the thing is, I could get all the way up this slippery thing, and there could still not even be a light route up here. Like, maybe I'm just misunderstanding it. I like the depths. They're a really cool idea, but like, man, they could be a pain sometimes. Okay, so it is on the other side of this giant thing. I'm glad I got you through the Aru Sakam light route just to get more of this map cleared out. Makes it easier to figure out what in the world is going on. There we go. So I'll definitely have to explore more of that mine soon. But it's not too high on my priority list at the moment because I'm pretty sure that's gonna relate to something relating to Master Koga, right? It's usually how those work out. I could quickly poke over to see if maybe I can activate it somehow. But I'm pretty sure with the previous ones I had to defeat Master Koga. Hmm. We'll see. Heading over. Oh yeah, over here. Okay. Um, This is absolutely one of these. I don't know if I should be doing this now. <laughs> okay, I'll try it. Hi. Hmm, how am I supposed to activate the construct? What's wrong? I've been examining this construct for so long, but I just can't seem to get it working. <sighs> well, given that you showed up down here, can't hurt to ask, do you know how to activate constructs? I know how. Ah. You do? I thought a famous hero like you might. In fact, I was sure of it. First, I'll rough you up a little. Then I'll find a way to make you talk. Ah. Everyone, attack! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here we go. Come on, I just gonna beat you up pretty quick. Actually, not even the weapon I want to use here, because I haven't uh, combined that with anything. Am I about to explode? Oh no, okay. I thought it was an explosion happening. Um, you, over here. Get you out of here. Was that all of them? And that was all of them. Nice. That was pretty good. So, they won't be making me talk, that is for sure. Ooh, lots of rupees. There we go. Don't mind if I do. And then get over here. And boom, activate this ourselves. Authorizer verified. Welcome, this was once a busy refinery where a great deal of zonite was processed. My task here is to manage designs for mining equipment. Please hold on one moment. I've confirmed that there is a schema stone you do not have yet. Uh, allow me to rectify that. Schema stone, awesome. So this one is the launch pad. Getting a lot of spring things today. I will also prepare the parts required to test it via auto build. Awesome. So. There's that. I hope that the schema stone I provided is useful to you. I think it will be. So if we go over here, I can go to the launch pad and put all this stuff together so we don't actually have to use any of the... There you go. And 
built. And I guess this will launch us? I'm not exactly sure. Whoa! <laughs> cool! I like it. That's a lot of fun. Let's grab some extra Poe while we're here. Um, but it looks like there's like an above and a below area. Maybe we won't fight Master Poe here. Hmm, I mean, looks like these guys have been set up over here for a bit. Oh, and they have, whoa, look at this vehicle. Maybe I'll use that to get around for a little bit. Okay, first off, kick this open. Inside, we get a large crystallized charge and a notepad. Strange rock piles have been seen all over this area. Climbing them is challenging, but not impossible. Their origin is mysterious. Were they made by settlers long ago? Are they the remains of some monstrous beast? We do know they have one feature in common. A weapon floats at the top of each one. We don't know why or how, but it's pretty creepy. Weirder yet, those weapons have a sort of gleam to them. Maybe next time I see one, I'll climb up to get a better look. Glory to Master Koga. Okay, so we've seen those are the, those are the sparkle weapons. But over here, might as well activate this one and maybe even be able to get some extra crystallized charges. It really depends. Okay, so Forge Construct, we know all about it. Please wait one moment. Whoa. So, we know all about this stuff. I don't really need them to explain it, but we should be able to offer, you know, some of these if we wanted to. For this, we would need large donate, which I don't have a ton of. I'd like to keep what I have. But, uh, I mean, I should be fine. I have a lot of crystallized charges right now to use for upgrades. So, I'm not even gonna touch upon it too much. But what I am really curious about is what's on the top of here. Might be worth our while. I'm not quite sure. At least there might be a bit more Poe up here. Hmm. This seems like something, right? Not quite sure, though. Uh, I'll grab this. And then it looks like yeah, is this some kind of thing that leads back down? Definitely a bit odd. I don't know if there's maybe like an old railway that used to be on here or something. It looks sort of unfinished. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's because of this. I didn't know, it's like maybe there's a huge Poe up there. I don't think there is. But it might be something we can climb. Just out of curiosity to see if it'll let us up there. Drop down here and see if we can just ascend through. We can. And then from here, get up there. And yeah, you can't hop down. Oh, they got crystallized charges up here. That's convenient. This is a little bit of a reward. Always nice to see. But this is a great vantage point to continue on our journey down this way. So the one difficult thing is we need to make sure we move past that rock. So I'd actually wanna go this way. All right, well, let's continue on our adventure then. Yeah, this seems about right. We just need to go around here. That cleared up a lot of space, that one did. And it looks like there might be another light route. Yeah, over there. It might be worth it to stop on our journey to that one. Ooh, I also see the potential of making a vehicle over here. Might be worth trying. Hmm. Okay, let's get over here just like that. And at the least I can make a bunch, or grab a bunch of Poe. Okay, what do I wanna build here? There's a lot of options, I always get overwhelmed. I guess we could make a little sled thing. Just something that'll get us somewhere, because what ends up happening is I spend all my time building this stuff and then it breaks immediately or something silly happens. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother. I'm just not really good at making those things match up. I just, by the time I tinker away at it, like I said, usually I could've just walked and been halfway there by then. So if I don't have to mess with it, I won't. I still haven't found any rocks to combo with this thing. But I can still break it open at least a little bit, get some more zonite out of it. There's that light route. Ooh, and some stall horses. Look at these guys. Spooky. I don't think they attack me on their own. You, however, absolutely will. That's a rare stone talus too, so I think absolutely worth it to, to go for it. I missed. 
Um, oh, did I distract you though? I did stop. Come on, get over here. Uh, come on. Ah. Uh. I know this is a flower, but these things don't grow on trees, you know. They grow out of the ground. It's a flower. <laughs> All right. Uh, there we go. I don't have too much here, but I could use this. This would be fun. Do some pretty major damage. This thing is almost broken. There it goes. Um, and then I might just use this for the rest of it. Gotcha. At least you were an easy thing to defeat. Always great to see. And if I could get some more diamonds out of this. Oh. Wait, don't let them roll down the hill. Okay, I got it. I got at least one diamond there. And then here's another one. Oh man, our diamond collection expanding is always super exciting. And then with this rare stone talus thing, I should be able to combine it with this. Boom, huge boost. 59 damage. That's definitely gonna be able to break stones very easily for a good long while. So yeah, I'm just trying to work up the 300 po at the least so we can get that hood. Over here, I want to get all of that. I think there's another bomb flower over here, and then we're almost at this light route, so I can keep working towards that too. Okay, over this way, another bomb flower. I want to at least get to 200 with this little patch if possible. Uh, I'm gonna be just under it, oh well. We'll find more along the way. And of course, right by the uh, area where we found our giant construct front. Oh, there's the next one. Maybe I could just fly over to that. I feel like that might be the move, is to fly to that one. This is actually a very painful path to take. I could try to climb up from here, just for an extra few moments to avoid the gloom. Get a couple more Poe out this way. Nope, that's not what I wanted. There we go. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, almost there. I think we should just be able to sprint all the way over now. And there's still some more gloom to dodge. But at this point, I think I just go for it. It hurts, sure, but I'll get the health back if I need it. There we go, I only lose like a heart or two. We're gonna get all that restored here in just a second. Just trying to make sure I don't fall off a cliff or anything while I'm running over in my excitement. But here we go, another light route. All right, Korom light route, gonna skip the cutscene, but that's quite a lot cleared up. Really exciting to see it. So it looks like there's more in that direction, another stadium, potentially. Uh, but these hearts are available to be restored again, which is always good to see. I need to turn around now, because we're sort of heading the wrong way. That's the light route I need to get to next. So if I could just, Fly back down and try to find that area where we could build. Right there. If I could build a flying device and just get it over there, that might be our best possible option. Okay. Let's keep going, Tulin. One more gust. Just like that. Oh, come on. It's okay. It's okay. So. How do I want to do this one? I think I'll just build a glider that can get over there. Looks like there's something in there too. Huh. Maybe I'll mark that on my map. So like here? Maybe, who knows? I'll just do that as like a point of interest kind of thing. And then I will get some of these. Got it. Whatever batteries I can put on the top of this thing is always super nice. I just need to make sure that we have the right angle with everything, and if I can balance the weight too, that's always a good idea. There we go. And then the rockets. We have a rocket up there. I just wanna put this thing right about that way. And then same thing with this one. Build this whole contraption. Now this, if we do it correctly, should actually help us with um, getting there faster, I would imagine. And I just need the steering wheel. Then maybe a fan on the back, but I'll have to wait and see. And if I, I can, it's probably a good idea. Even if it is just one fan. 
because I don't know if that'll use up battery faster if it's more than one. At the same time, I don't know really convenient places to attach it besides there, so get this one. Same thing over here. Okay, that seems is about as good as I'm gonna get it. It's straight ahead, you can just barely see it glimmering in the distance. Like, let's, let's get going. There we go. You can't steer too much when the rocket's pushing you, but afterwards, this is where we cover major ground. So I think this was a good idea. This should last us quite a while, as you can see that battery just now getting used up. We can just keep traversing this way. I gotta make sure I look around still if there's other things that might keep my interest, like this Hinox. Uh, okay, I have him, I have him, no! I just wanna make sure I had a picture of him. I do. It looks like we're still a while away. I just have to hope that the fan holds on for that long. I think it will though, maybe. But that's why it's probably worth it to get higher and higher up as much as I can so that if I need to glide throughout a lot of it, I can. Because it looks like you can sort of see there's maybe like a way I can sort of side along the, the walls of it. Oh no, here we go. It's gonna keep trying to get higher and higher up. We're getting really close to it though. It might be able to hold on for most of the way. Come on a little bit more, you can do it, I believe in you. It's about to break. All right, ready, jump. Oh, perfect timing actually. It's a little bit scary, but if I do this, I can see, yeah, just how close I am to the wall. This is gonna be a tough climb, but this is why I made food to give me more stamina if I need it. Okay, this part's a little scary. Come on, Link, hold on, hold on, hold on. Got it? And then I jump, jump, jump. Nice, we made it! A little bit of ingenuity got us all the way over here. The Sos Light Route. All right, excellent to see that. We shouldn't be too far from the X marks the spot. Ta-da! All right, so with that done, a lot of this area cleared out very conveniently. And where's that X mark the spot? It is a little bit this way. And that really does also show us maybe some of the things we may have missed on the way here. So far not looking like a, like a ton, but like whatever this is has me curious. Little things like that for sure. So that's the light route we just came from. Pretty cool. All right, let's hop this way. And I guess over here, you know what, maybe I should travel along the side of it, like I was saying before, because what we're under is we're under the Twin Peaks, or whatever it's called, uh, Dueling Peaks. So yeah, let's go ahead and bust some stuff up here, some ores that we can find. Ooh, large zonite, always nice to find. Oh, hi guys. Oh, they're scared of me. <laughs> they're cute, but they gotta go. Gotcha. And then one more, uh, hey, watch it. And this one, oh, dropped a lot of good stuff. Bright bloom, bright bloom seed, zonite. Always good to see. So it should be right down there, somehow, some way. Is that, I thought it was a giant cluster of zonite, it's not. Okay, so I think we're about good to jump down from here. I just wanna grab maybe this. And let's see for ourselves here. What is that? Is that it? I mean, it'll be marked on my map. So, there's some kind of structure in here. This is the Dueling Canyon's mine. Whoa. Whoa, this place is cool. All right. What do we got going on here? A rock hammer I don't need, but inside of this treasure chest, what I'm looking for is... Tunic of the Hero. Legend has it this armor was once cherished by a hero from ancient times. Its design is rather simple, but it's such a traditional look. So if I were to organize this by set, we go all the way down there. I just have this tunic. I don't have the rest of the other companion pieces to that one, so we'll have to find them eventually. But for right now, I wanna get down this way. Search more of this area just to be extra sure there's not anything else I'm missing. Besides being like a huge cluster of, ooh, really huge cluster of this stuff. Let me use, um, I mean, I guess. I need to get another duplex bow from the Yiga clan. Uh, I'll use this one. Has less damage than the other. There you go. And inside, look at all this stuff. Really nice to get all this. Yeah, I cleared it out super well. 
Of course, we can still hit some more of it, just like that. Over here, same deal. And actually, you know, Bo, where are you? Because <laughs> this part is clustered up too, so if I just... Okay, that was silly. Uh... That at least gets one or two of them, right? I, I guess just one, and they all go everywhere. Does that really save me time? Who knows? But I'm glad that we at least got one piece of gear here. Uh, it can take a lot of time and effort to actually travel around, it seems. I wouldn't mind trying to find another X marks a spot. I don't know if we've been down there. I guess we have? At some point? Huh. Oh yeah, the well lead us down, led us down here and we were like, huh? We probably just left. We just probably teleported away. Um, Good to know. More depths, entrances. But this is definitely something to explore a little bit more at another time. So there's probably some kind of shrine attached to all this somewhere. What I would like to find though, like I said before, are some X marks to spot. This one is probably my next best one to try. So we'll see this. I just wanna see if any of these complete an item set. If they don't, that's fine. But if they do, then I would just like to have one. Okay, so we've made our way to this one. I just need to continue on in this direction. You can already see another one. It might be worth it at this rate to, I mean, I've got a lot more of these. If I could rebuild this one, how much would it cost me? That's a lot. 36 of them? I don't know, that's like half of what I have. I don't think that's actually all that much worth it. So I think we'll just continue normally over if possible. And so far it seems like I can. So that's at least good. That light route pretty far off, but I definitely wanna try getting to it. But first, it's all about the X marks of spot. The problem is it's just pitch black in here, and I'm guessing that that shrine might be our best bet to actually getting to it. Is there any place? I could have maybe fell down from there, but I don't think that would have actually helped me get over here more easily. So I think we're on the right path. We're doing the right thing. Just gotta keep going. It's very dark, which makes it scary and intimidating, but uh, I will just keep lighting things up as much as I can. Yeah. To make a difference. And see what we can find. So there's definitely a wall that goes all the way up to the surface here because we're right by the water. Got it. What is that? Okay, that's just another light route. Good to know, because I don't have a shrine over there. Which means there is a shrine over there that I haven't found yet. Okay, toss a little bit more. Whenever it just gets dark enough like that, I just need to make sure I throw one. Okay, so we're pretty close to it actually. It's not that far off from here. I guess it's just on the other side of the river, in a way. Or I guess lake, in this circumstance. Right around here. Ah, okay, that scared me. Oh my gosh, the Redstone Grove. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, I was gonna keep walking. Uh, Whoa, look at all these guys. Yeah, there's more of them. Um, I can handle them, it just I got terrified really quickly. Hold on, Um, not what I wanted. Okay, get off of this, please. Dismount, uh, I'm knocking you out one way or another. Should probably just use my master sword for this one. Just, ow, come on. Not appreciate it. I don't know if this is working. I don't this. All right, whatever. Open the treasure chest. What do we get inside of this one? As these guys are finally falling over, we get the cap of the sky. According to legend, this cap was once worn by a hero who appeared from the sky riding a mighty bird. Perfect for those who long to take to the skies. That's awesome. So once again, if I organize this by set, and then go all the way down, that's like its own set right here. That's of course from uh, Skyward Sword. But uh, unfortunately for me, I haven't beaten that game yet. I'm working on it. This is after this one, after this one, one, a uh, giant Zelda game at a time, right? All right, we're gonna leave that be and get this light route. Luckily, we discovered one at some place or another, the Kissy Hyam Shrine. That should light up a lot of stuff. Here we go. Nice. 
The light would dispel the darkness and brighten the surrounding area. So, where's the next place I can go? That might have an X marks the spot. That wouldn't be like super crazy difficult to get to. I'm guessing this one. Okay, yeah, so let's go with this one. I'll make a blue marker there. And I just wanna see one more time if we can maybe just complete a set. If not, I think at this point, I'll just focus on collecting gloom so that we can complete the hood. Ooh, so we're at the super overheated area. That's fine though, because I should just be able to, <laughs> Link does not look happy right now, Uh, put this on and the full set will keep us nice and well guarded. We have to go this way. See, I guess we're right by the temple or the, I guess the temple, but also just Death Mountain or whatever. Okay. It really shouldn't be too far off. If we keep going this way, whoa, we got a Lionel. Which color though? It's just a blue mane. I think we're looking for a white mane still. I don't know if I'll bother fighting you too much, but at the same time, it might be fun. Uh. All right, I'm up for the challenge. Okay, I don't think it's as hot over here, so I might be able to change my armor again. Yeah, okay, we're fine. All right, buddy. Oh, you have. Okay, well now things are heating up again. You have armor on, which I do not appreciate. So let's go ahead, keep the Savage Lionel bow, and then switch to the Bomb Flower and break up that armor a little bit. I don't think that worked all the way though, which is crazy. Got it, okay, hold on, hold on. Um, This is my chance to do something like uh, this. Maybe, come on, come on, really go crazy on you. There we go, I'm gonna use up every ounce of stamina I have beating you up. Can I mount you? Here we go. Uh, What's the highest weapon I have that'll slice? Uh, 47, 49, I think the Master Sword's higher than that. Come on, swing, swing, swing. We're doing some good damage to you, but there's still so much more to do here. Uh, oh, oh, Tulin, great shot. Wait, can we mount again? We can, okay, here's our chance. Keep going, you're more than halfway down now. Uh oh. Oh, that was really good. Come on, come on. Keep swinging, keep swinging. Ah, that didn't last very long. I feel like it would've just been better just to stay next to him and keep swinging, but it looks like we got you. Awesome. Now I definitely have all this stuff photographed that's about to drop, right? It looks like it. Really nice to get some more bows though. Looks like we got all this, awesome. So, it means I can just pick it all up without having to worry about that too much. Uh, I definitely want this bow, if possible. Um, I can't carry it right now, but if I were to drop maybe this one, if that there, Mighty Lionel bow. It's not a ton in terms of damage, but it's still a triple shot bow. If I need to fire a bunch of bomb arrows, I think it's one worth focusing on. So that was pretty good. Getting a little sidetracked from our main goal, but we're getting there regardless. And there should be a shrine right by it too. So definitely just keep going in that direction. On the take out a liner all fast. Oh yeah, it's right here, awesome. Okay, so, got some flying enemies around here too. Oh, there's a red po there. That should be like 20 of them, I think. That would be really good right about now. Shrine first, or light root first. So this is the new Zimad light root. Just like that. Boom, clearing out a huge segment with another arena over there. Okay. So, what's going on with this thing? As you can see, I don't know what happened to the area with all the Poe. Oh, it was over there. Okay, I could teleport back over there if I need to. But this should count as like its own, yeah, this is the ancient underground fortress. I don't know where exactly I'm trying to go when it comes to Really fast. There you go. Uh, when it comes to the treasure chest, but I feel like it might be just over here. Maybe not. I think it's gonna be exactly where the X marks the spot, so I guess not. Uh, oh, wow, I forgot I had this. Uh, would that break this? I guess not. Huh. 
I guess that might be an easy way to, maybe I just needed more distance. Um, let's try that one more time. I know he's about to attack me. I just wanted to see if I can't break this box open. No, I guess it doesn't work that way. That's sort of a shame. All right, well, um, switch over to the silver moblin hammer and, oh, you're gone, whatever. Uh, yeah, I can't quite reach those very easily from here. We're just trying to get somewhere down here, right? There it is, okay. That's a lot of enemies, actually. Let's be sneaky about this. I'm gonna grab this. And we get the Trousers of Twilight. Legend says these trousers were once worn by a hero who battled the beasts of Twilight. The insides are lined with cozy wolf fur. <laughs> That's great, so I just wanna make sure, like I think it gets unorganized sometimes when you do that, yeah. Okay, so we got the Trousers of Twilight, the Tunic of the Wind. It's sort of like a whole mixture of different old Link stuff, but hey guys, uh, I got a gift for you. I know it's a little late for the holidays, but there you go. Hope you enjoy it. Not gonna be happy with that one. Uh, got it. See you over there. This guy, this guy just trying to damage whoever we can here. I think we should switch over to this. This would be fun. All right. Uh, okay. They're not gonna be very nice to me. This team is not handling all these enemies very well. Uh, oh, they're trying to protect the boss. I see what you're trying to do. Well, let's disperse that a little bit then, huh? Wow, the battle formation with the shields and everything, that's actually really, really cool. Okay, keep it going, keep it going. I'm gonna go for you now. Ow, oh, the rock throw. Ouch. There they go again. You know what could be also a really good idea? The muddle bud. Come on, the muddle bud. That should make them, hey, what are you doing? Make them attack each other, which I think would be great just because there's a lot to deal with around here. Ow. Pick all that up. Keep it moving, keep it moving. They're really trying to knock me out now. Um, oh, you're a silver one too. Come on. Uh, there we go. Oh no, don't, don't, don't hit me. I don't know what happens if it hits me. They're definitely very confused now, but we get rid of you, which is great. I'll pick up all of that. Keep the fighting happening. There's still a lot more silver ones here, and if I could get to a good angle where I'm like hitting multiple at once, fantastic. Come on, get the Aracuda stuff too. No, you don't. Oh man, oh man, ah! Come on, boom, 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 get rid of you. And then, more stuff to pick up. <laughs> Filling our pockets like crazy. These two are still fighting each other. I see you up there, come on down. Try that again. They're still not, how is that not a headshot? There you go. And then you, gotcha. This thing is badly damaged, so I'll probably just toss it soon, but I might as well grab some more of that stuff. We cleared out all the enemies I really wanted to get here, it seems, so that's at least good. I don't know if we'll find too much more in terms of rewards here, but you, oh wait, hold on. Do some huge damage to you like that. Switch to a different weapon here. Okay, hold on, don't you run. That was good. A few more swings should do the trick. Come on. Here we go. One big slam with this, definitely enough. Awesome. I think that's a battle well fought. So at this point, we have found a good couple of chests, none of which completed any kind of set for me, so I think what might be a good idea at this rate is calming down a little bit on finding X marks of spots. Obviously, I probably need to reveal more throughout the map anyways, but I wanted to get enough Poe to unlock something, to be able to get the, the one hood. So I think that might be a good idea for right now. Um, the best place I know of to do that would be the construct factor. There's a lot of uh, Poe on the top of this building typically. So I'm gonna go up there really quickly, get ourselves at the 300 Poe so that we can get the one hood. So this is, in my opinion, one of the easiest areas to farm up Poe. I think it restores all the Poe that's here, probably like once every blood moon or something, but I can just, right about there. Got it. Okay, good enough. There are some monsters up here who might try to attack me, but there's usually a lot of Poe around. It might be higher up. I thought I saw a red one, but 
Somehow I went past it or something. There's a there's a blue one. Uh oh, they're calling over all their friends. I don't care very much, as long as we keep moving. It's really hard for them to hit us. Yeah, we got like one large boat there that gives us five. Oh, here's a red one. So it's just pretty easy just to charge through like that, get a 20. Go like that, ascend up to the next level. Really not even trying to be thorough with it, just sprinting through. There should be a little bit more up this way. I think there'll be even more at the tippity top of it. Ooh, and there's a red one I missed right down here. It's the red ones I'm really focused on, so if I could just get that grand po exactly at 300 while we're here, might as well try to get more. If you get a little bit above 300 so that eventually we can go back to the one thing and it can tell me where another of the brethren are. So we can sort of begin this whole adventure again in different parts of the depths, that'd be great. Not seeing too much more over here, just like one singular po there. So if we go inside of this and bring that, bring us to it, the top, that should, I think, be even more. Let's see. Yep, just up this way. We've got a little bit more to go. Come on, right here. It's like a whole spiral staircase that was destroyed. Hi. I think I've opened that treasure chest before, but it never has anything I need. Maybe it will this time. Uh, give it a kick. What do we got? Mighty Zone Night Shield 60 is not bad, but still, I mean, I guess it's better than this, but I have to give up the ruby and I don't want to do that. It's nice for the, uh, the winter areas whenever I need to melt icicles. Okay, let's go up even higher then. You know what, not the way to do this. As long as there's not any more Po over there. Not that I see. There should be one more grand one up here. That's what I want to get to. Yeah. Ooh, multiple grand ones. Well worth the effort then. That's going to be 40 more for us in total. So, there we go. We're over 350. We'll definitely get some more soon. I'm sure of it, but pretty good start to everything. Maybe I'll get that one. And then we'll go over to, maybe just the one at Lookout Landing to finish off that one outfit. Here, anything else going on around here? Doesn't seem like it. So yeah, let's go all the way back to Lookout Landing so that we can just go ahead and get that final piece of gear. All right, so let's get this last piece of gear. I'll offer up some pose and all these gear pieces, like we have one of each, except for this right here, the Hood of the Deaths. A hood acquired by offering pose to a strange statue found in the depths, woven of monstrous materials. It offers some resistance to the gloom. So that first sentence really does clue in that the no, I cannot find these just in chests randomly. It's not that I'm like paying to get them early or anything. It's just that you can only get them this way. So let's go ahead and get the hood of the depths for 300 po. That is so exciting. All right then, so we got that acquired right there. See if my brother in the depths of this land, I definitely will try. So, uh, is this by set? This is by set. Let's see, because this is like a two piece thing, I think. Oh no, it's not. So maybe, will there be a third? Oh yeah, of the depths. So we already have this one too. Awesome, so this is our full, whoa. I really like the look of this one. Here, let's uh make sure we don't have anything else equipped. Cool look to it. I love this a lot. I love the one eye poking out and all the just crazy other details, the, the wrapping around the legs, <laughs> the, the little things that just sort of flap around. So, so cool. So yeah, we got the depths um, sort of outfit set up. I really like this one. Super cool and mysterious. I would like to run up here though and see if we can't get a battery upgrade. But you can see on the top left how this works is we get gloom resistance. So I guess when we're fighting gloom monsters, we have like three hearts that we don't have to worry about losing like gloom health for or something. I'm not really sure. But over here, the steward construct, I think we can get some extra battery. This is a crystal refinery. Uh, we have 549 of these. So get producing. Whoa, to produce five energy wells will require 500 crystallized charged, charges. Is that acceptable? Get producing. All right. So this is great. Jumping up five of them is a huge opportunity. I 
I've refined your crystallized charges into five energy wells. All right, energy well times five. I wonder how many more slots we have. Whoa. I guess just maybe four more then, I guess. That's great. So if we needed four more, that's gonna be 400 more of those things to find. It's gonna be a lot of work, but I'm definitely up to the task. But with that being said, I had a lot of fun exploring more of the depths in today's episode. There's still plenty more to find down there, but with each time we go down, it seems like we're making a lot more progress. As you can see though, still so much more we could potentially find down there. Mostly focused on the light routes for the time being, but I'm sure there's other stuff to discover soon enough too. But with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.